What is up guys, McDouble's back again with a brand new video and today we're going to be doing our first episode of our holy playthrough with a full-on priest holy battle mage. It's going to be a whole lot of fun, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's jump right in. Okay guys, I gotta be completely honest, I'm really feeling the holy build, so I think we're gonna go with the holy shock. Here's the thing, we're gonna do an arcane build obviously, and people want to see it, so of course that's gonna happen. We're gonna make multiple characters guys, but the fact of the matter is, grabbing holy shock is really good. Um, like I said, it's a level 40 ability. There is no way to make this happen other than a sealed card. That makes this really enticing for me, and I really have a unique build planned where I'm not actually gonna be a hybrid for once, right? And unlike the first playthrough, we have earned a lot of money, and so I think we're going to be able to pack our next character with some pretty good uh, leveling gear. So, I'm going to go ahead and make my new character. Dude, that guy has- I thought I saw glaives, man. We're going to go ahead and make our character, and I'll see you guys on that character. Okay, guys, so this is the character, Chaplain, Chaplain, don't know how you say it, but it was a Warcraft 3 priest unit, uh, so I thought it would be pretty neat, because we're gonna go with a battle priest, a holy priest, uh, that goes for the DPS route, and the way that we're gonna do this is, well, I'll show you in a moment, but I do want to say, I went ahead and I invested, uh, due to the fact that it's going to be very good for me to be able to get my starting builds, uh, more accurately, because I do make videos, so I went with the loaded star starter dice. You may have seen this in the Rain Man's videos, Trim Plays, right? So the loaded starter dice allows you to individually roll for each of your abilities. Um, this is good. It still is something that takes a while. Don't get me wrong. I'm lucky I started with Sprint because that is part of the uh, four ability core that I'd like to go for. But other than that, I mean, I got Thunderclap. I got a bunch of garbage. So what I can do is individually roll each of these things. I want to get rid of the defensive stance first, of course, so I don't roll more stuff. And then I just have to hope I get what I want. So as you can see, I got auto shot. Definitely don't want that. And I'm just going to keep re-rolling until I get the four abilities I want, however long that takes. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, let's go ahead and just use the holy shock. Very nice. I'll now get it automatically at level 40. That's going to be a major power spike for me. I think the build I'm going to settle with is sprint life taps smite and holy light now ideally we would pick up the holy fire but i'm okay with just the smite holy fire can be achieved after level 20 and it's not completely outside of the realm of possibility for us to roll it uh it, it would still be considered pretty lucky honestly but it would be nice having just the sprint is good we're also going to go ahead and probably pick up penance as soon as we can but the main bulk of our damage and healing and just versatility in general looks like it's going to come directly from Holy Shock. And I'm going to build around this as much as I can, right? Uh, I know we can go into the Priest Tree, for example, and the Holy and grab Surge of Light. This has my direct damage criticals, have a 50% chance to cause my next Smite to be instant cast. And in the Holy Paladin Tree, there are some talents to give Holy Shock a higher chance to crit, like Sanctified Light, 6% increased chance to crit with the Holy Shock alone. Uh, and that's not even including all the Holy Priest talents like holy spec right which is 100 percent increased damage with holy spells or in the discipline tree we've got five percent holy crit just from twin disciplines right here not to mention five percent increased damage so i've never gone hard with this and i don't do casters as often because i'm addicted to melee so let's do it let's not go for the hybrid route going with the staff going for that chaplain that's you know <laughs> that complete priest battle priest feel so yeah i'm excited for this i think this is a good start i actually have an aura of experience that i got on my main so i'm going to send that to this character as well it lasts for seven days and that's going to make it a lot easier for us to level up on this character our first ability oh my god serpent sting is garbage it's garbage but we are level 11 already which is nice brand new ability level 12 already Oh, oh my god. Okay, defensive stance is Garbo, but we can actually re-roll it for free because it's a tank ability. Alright, let's hope this is something good. I'm going to the Barons now. Shield Bash! Oh, wait a second. Do I have to- No, I can't. Oh my god, I was gonna say, do I switch to an Avenger shield build? But I, I said I wouldn't go hybrid, so... Shield Bash is just useless, unfortunately. But luckily, when we get to level 20, we can use our Scroll of Fortunes to re-roll it. And hopefully, we can pick up the Holy Fire. That would be really nice. I don't want to put a shield on, because in Project Ascension, wearing a shield actually reduces your spell damage. You also lose a lot of power from not having a two-handed staff. So I'm going to stick with this for now and just not even worry about it. Serpent Sting is also pretty useless for me right now. So my abilities have not been great. 
Okay, this Crocolisk should be level 14, if you can believe it. Let's see what we get. Come on, something good. Something good. Oh, Drain Life. Okay, I know that's not holy damage, and so by default, you might think that's pretty bad. And for the most part, you know, for how this build is playing, you'd be right. It is pretty bad. However, there is applicability here because it is self-healing while damaging my opponent. And early on, I'm not going to be as hard in the holy as much as I'm just going to be a caster in general. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that Drain Life will definitely come in handy in PvP, especially against melee that are trying to run all around me. I can just spam the Drain Life. I don't have dots, which is really a big portion of the damage there, but depending on how it scales and how much damage it ends up doing, it might actually be worth it. Okay, we just got to level 15. The goal is just to reach level 20 as quick as possible so we can start finding people to PvP with. I also really want to hit level 40 as quickly as humanly possible so I can utilize the Holy Shock Seal card that I literally made this character to play with. Okay, I'm going to do a Wailing Caverns. It should be a ridiculous amount of XP, plus I'm helping my entire group with this aura of experience. I think it's going to be really useful for them. Plus, I feel like a priest right now and it's a good feeling. Okay, we're level 18, and this was the 1 AE useless ass abilities. We got Eagle Eye and Conjure Food, so I guess I'll take it. I'd prefer Conjure Water like my other character, but this is fine. Healing with just Holy Light, perfectly viable. Uh, two levels, and I haven't even beat a boss yet, so I'm going to need on basically every bit of gear that is a upgrade right now, just so I can get something. Everyone's gaining so many levels, guys. <laughs> I feel so good about myself. You know, using a potion of experience is nice, but being able to help everybody else around you that's honestly better and i'm not just saying that okay first weapon of the entire playthrough foam spittle staff i will take it it is spirit which is decent for now and we can actually do a spirit based build maybe at some point there's some pretty decent talents in the balance druid tree and i think the discipline priest tree uh that deal with spirit so i'll take it but i lost god damn it i lost i was actually so sure i was the only one that needed that and i was wrong Level 20! Oh! The Blessing of Kings! That is just well-rounded. You can't really be upset with that. And of course, high risk. Hello? Okay! Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, guys. Blessing of Kings is really top tier uh, in terms of buffs, right? It's a straight-up 5% increase to all of my stats. Um, that's just always good. And it really does fit the current theme of my build. I am a holy warrior, right? But a caster. Like a Warcraft 3 priest, you know? I want to be able to dispel and heal and buff. But, you know, with the holy shock, I want to be able to smite people down, right? And just destroy them. I'm really excited about this build so far. But I really like getting the holy shock at level 40. You can't beat that. You really can't beat that. And? Nature's grass, man! Hey, listen, it might not be, like, top tier necessarily, although it could be. I, I gotta be honest, I'm not entirely sure. But here is what is actually good about it, and that is the fact that it keeps melee off me, right? So if you don't know what Nature's Grasp is, it basically procs Entangling Roots every single time you're auto-attacked for uh, three charges, which is pretty nice. And I'm gonna put it on Shift-Z, that's my standard Nature's Grasp keybind. That's gonna be really nice in PvP, guys, especially at low levels where, you know, people are gonna get the charge on me, right? And I only have Sprint. At this point, though, I think I could beat them. So, what is probably the coolest thing about my build is that since I'm guaranteed the Holy Shock and I decided to start with the Holy Light and not maybe Greater Heal, for example, I get a lot of double dipping with my talents. Things like Healing Light that affect both Holy Light and Holy Shock. Things like Illumination, which gives me 40% of the base cost of my spell back when I crit with either my Holy Shock or my Holy Light. So, there's a lot of double dipping and those are only two. There's even more in the Holy Pally Tree. So, I'm really excited about that. Being able to be a heal dps hybrid which is not really something you see played often people tend to specialize right and level 22 i've got 10 talent points to spend and i don't even know where to put them man i cannot wait to get out of here and start pvp Ooh, robe of the moccasin let's go for that hopefully we win that'd be really nice to start off with that in pvp six stamina seven sp guys that's something that really is something special i got it guys i got it there we go looking good I'm going to go ahead and real quick re-roll this shield bash while I'm a lower level and hopefully I get the holy fire. I'm not going to pretend like it's just going to happen. I'm going to get lucky, but I don't want shield bash. That's for damn sure. So let's see what we get in the middle of the dungeon, guys. Hopefully it's something usable. Ooh, new boots. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, backstab, man. 
that is so absolutely atrociously bad. Like on so many levels that that. Oh my god, that's so bad. Don't die. Oh my god. Oh, don't die. All right, just barely. We got help from this guy. They're tolerating me because I'm giving them increased XP. It actually is such a it's such a flex moment. It's like, yes, I do kind of suck right now. But do you want 150% more XP? Okay then. <laughs> I'll take it. The one time I would never want execute is the one time I get it. Okay, so we gain quite a few levels from the Wailing Caverns. What we're going to go ahead and do now is use the second scroll of fortune. And of course, we've got to get rid of backstab. Completely useless, right? So let's go ahead and unlearn it and see what we get. Okay, Blessing of Wisdom. Here's the best thing about Blessing of Wisdom. The best thing is that you can actually stack it with Blessing of Kings. And for some reason, I don't remember this being a thing, but uh, apparently it is, and it's incredibly good. So that is even more mana regen, which really does go hand in hand with a brand new talent I wanted to show you guys called Meditation. Now, uh, brand new in the fact that the capstone bonus is something interesting. Uh, if we look at Meditation, it says it allows 24% of your mana regen to continue while casting of course the blessing of wisdom really does help with that because that gives me even more mana regen but it also says every single time i do not crit with one of my spells i will actually gain a buff that gives me an increased chance to crit with my next heal this is going to be very good for both holy shock and holy light which i think is going to be incredibly good for my build down the line Okay, let's go ahead and finally pick up Apprentice Riding, and we're going to go with a wolf for this playthrough. So now that we have a mount, that sets us up pretty good to find somebody to fight. But the goal really is to get to level 40 as quickly as possible so we can pick up Holy Shock. Level 34, brand new ability. Starfire? So the first thing I thought of with Starfire is that maybe I could use the Prophet of Wrath Legendary RE, except it only works with Arcane Blasts and Arcane Missiles, so it doesn't actually affect all of the big Arcane spells like I assumed it would. It's still really good, but just really bad for me. Unfortunately, I think Starfire is a pretty big dud, um, and we'll almost never use it if ever, so I don't even really want to put that on my bar right now. Luckily though, it's only six levels until we get to Holy Shock. We have a bunch of new level ups to get right here, and I think we'll be able to find some people to fight out there as well, because I saw quite a few people already. The only interesting thing about Starfire really is that it possibly opens up a future completely different build where we do use Starfire as our main way to fight. We would have to get like Boomkin form for that to be worth it as well as uh, probably Wrath <laughs> or Moonfire or something. So that would be diverting hard but it would be a form of Arcane Dream which would be interesting. However I still think it should be right up there on the chopping block with things like Execute. Okay, I'm going to real quick update my gear. I just realized I haven't really done it at all, and so if I get into a PvP fight, it might not go in my favor. And we can also grab a brand new scroll of fortune as well, which is pretty nice. The level 30 scroll, so we're going to go ahead and probably get rid of the execute, but I'll, I'll make sure in a second and we'll see what new ability we get. Okay, so I bought a bunch of really good stuff. This is going to help a lot, so I'm going to go back to STV now with my new gear. But first, let's go ahead and re-roll the execute. Let's see what we get. Oh, Intimidating Shout. So this is not quite as good as it looks, right? Because it's actually going to end up costing me Rage to use, which is not easy for me to build up when, uh, yeah, I'm a caster. So uh, it's not impossible, and I'm going to try to make it work, but I don't think there are any talents for it. Yeah, there's nothing that reduces the Rage cost of it, unfortunately, uh, if by any significant margin. So we're just going to have to try to play around it the best we can. These rolls have not been great, guys. They've not been great, but, you know, we have so many levels to go. I, I have faith we can make something work, and at the end of the day, we're just looking for defensives and maybe some kind of offensive cooldown. It's not as much, right? I'm in a dungeon healing right now, and I literally only have Holy Light, and it really is an entire build by itself. You can talent so hard in a Holy Light, man. Like, this this went horrible, and a lot of things got pulled, but at the end of the day, it feels so good being able to hybrid heal for fun and just mix it up. Especially with something that's, like, simple. Sometimes it feels good to do something a little bit brain dead, right? 
This is so sick, guys. I bring an aura of XP, and I heal everybody, and I'm spamming holy light, and this dude has a wizard hat on, man. <laughs> My tank's a bear. It feels so good, man. The fantasy aspect, dude, like, what's going on? It feels just so right. Oh, yeah, and level 35, by the way. Goes by so fast with the aura of XP. It's a really good pace, though, because you really do just want to get those dopamine rushes from getting those rolls every single time and hoping you get the thing that you need for your specific build. Brand new ability! And look, my name is the same as these. Oh my god, Blood Rage! That gives me rage! Okay, yes, I know what you're saying, but McDoubles, you can use it to actually get off your Intimidating Shout much more frequently now. That's a true fact. In fact, it might be perfect. I use it, and no, it does need to actually uh, regen just a bit, but then it will give me enough to Intimidating Shout nearly on demand, which is not something I had before, so I shouldn't be too unhappy with that. It is two abilities for the price of what should be one, because I could just roll Psychic Scream, but, you know, that's the nature of wildcard mode sometimes. You just have to go with slightly less good stuff, but if you can make it work, you can make it work, right? It's all that matters is that it works. But as I was trying to say before, look at this, Scarlet Chaplain. Or Chaplain. I don't really know how it's pronounced, even though that's my name. <laughs> but nonetheless, I think it's so cool to be what they are, right? To have that name, and I'm like a priest. It makes me feel very DND like. You're just playing in this fantasy world, doing your <laughs> what you're doing, what a chaplain does. End of the dungeon and a brand new ability. Ooh, and a staff. We'll need all that. Chain lightning! Okay, yeah, you know what? Chain lightning is good. It really is fun. Is it good for my build? Obviously not, but it is AoE damage, which we absolutely did not have before. So in the case of needing to hit more than one target, it's really not the worst thing we could get. Interesting, new moon random enchant. Your arcane blast increases the duration of moonfire by three seconds. That's pretty decent. We'll keep that for our future arcane dream build. And are these gloves better? Not quite. Unfortunately, we didn't win that staff. It was pretty good, but the wind weaver staff that we have instead is pretty decent as well. So it's not that bad. One more level and the holy shock is learned. Okay, so I'm doing an SM armory run because I'm just trying to get to 40 ASAP and grab that holy shock. And our tank is probably the cutest thing I've ever seen. And I don't mean that in a bad way, like super strong, but pulling with pyroblast and arcane shot and still doing a good job tanking. You know why? Because in random wild card mode, that's the kind of stuff you get to do. Make up something completely random, play with something that makes no logical sense and somehow make it work. So full bloom has my 100% um, unequivocal approval and just like total admiration is really the better word for it because you know this dude's having a lot of fun you can just tell everyone in here is having a shit ton of fun i think that's the most fun part about playing ascension is that like every single person playing is having fun because there's only two ways to play ascension pissed off or really fucking happy so there's just two all right this dude is tanking with hellfire okay okay guys get this this dude is tanking with Hellfire and Righteous Fury. This dude is a mad man, okay? I am so impressed right now that it's actually working. I want to be this guy. I want this guy's character so much. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're level 40. So, we have the Holy Shock. And this is pretty freaking fantastic, guys. One of the best abilities, obviously, that I could get, which is why I started my character with this. So I'm happy to have it. It's not just a heal. It's also pretty good damage. It's going to scale pretty well with all these talents we have because we now have 100% increased crit damage. And we're going to go into Surge of Light as well so we can go for those instant cast smites. Very excited to see that pulled off. We just need one more talent point in there, and we are golden. And another ability, 42! Oh my god, it's just cure disease. There were so many better things there. It's crazy how booty this build is so far, not gonna lie. The only good things about it are the things I guaranteed. <laughs> uh, it happens sometimes, but we do have plenty of rerolls and a lot more chances in the future to get some good stuff here. So I'm not over it, but you know what? It could have been better. It definitely could have been better than what it was. And I guess that it has to be a little bit disappointing at the end of the day. But you know what's not disappointing? getting that many levels because 42 off that that's absolutely perfect all right there's a guy right here let's go for him because he stopped for the raise dead he's stealth interestingly enough go for the blood rage okay he's gonna open on me unfortunately i just have to wait since he rolled stealth but i know he's gonna open on me all right we're on him 
All right, we're just trying to get off the holy shock as much as we can. Smite. I'm going to fear him. Oh, look at the heals, dude. It means nothing. Nothing you do matters, dude. If I can just heal to full just like that. Drain life for the kill. GG, 16k XP. Oh, this dude had been PKing other people. We need to upgrade our bags like really desperately right now. Oh, yeah, let's get all of this stuff, man. All right, I'm on this guy again. He attacked me. Oh, oh, I didn't drop it. I'm so bad. Yeah, I actually have the Tremor Totem, so that was extra bad. There's no way this guy can beat me. My build is really freaking good. There we go. We always end the fight with the Drain Life. All right, I will take it. I really need to get better bags before I come back out here again. All right, let's just go back to base. Oh, wait, there's this free kill right here. Don't mind if I do. Look at it. And dead. Oh, not quite, but you can't run away from me. Steering pain. There we go. <laughs> kind of a BM, but I'll take it. Let's see what loot we get. Okay, nice. Ivy cloth bracers. Uh, mostly garbage, though. All right, now we're going back to base. That one I didn't feel too bad about because it was an alliance. At least it was somebody from the other faction. Wow, I PK'd some pretty good random enchants from those two people as well. Three people, actually. Unbounded Mind Flay. That's a pretty decent, cute one. Uh, we also got this dude's Sinister Flurry RE. That's probably at least like 30, 40, 50 G. I don't really know, but uh, it's a pretty good one, so I could see it definitely going for something decent. And we got this Overheating RE as well, which is pretty decent. Coward's Bane. Your warrior abilities have a chance to daze enemies that are not facing you. That's pretty cool for just like, uh, well, really maintaining uptime on a PvP target. Target. that could be nice uh, and direct command your seal of command deals 15% more damage but no longer hits additional targets that's pretty cool uh, of course not good for us but I think all of these things will actually sell pretty decently on the AH and level 44 let's see what we get Whoa. wyvern sting oh my god CC guys I will take CC yeah that's actually pretty huge not only does it do damage but more importantly, it's just another form of CC on top of my Hammer of Justice. It allows me to set up combos as well with the Smite, Holy Shock, Smite. So I really like this. Okay, it's not great, but I did just bid on like a bunch of Nether Weave bags, only 2G each. And so uh, it only had a little bit longer for the auction. So I might be able to just kind of cheat that out and win so I don't have to pay 16G a pop. But what I did go ahead and go with is just some heavy brown bags. And so it's not a big inventory, but it'll do for now. I really want to just find more people to fight because I feel kind of stupid OP, but I kind of want somebody to put me in my place too to kind of force me to learn, right? Like actually how to play my character. I did a lot of that on my last character and that made me feel very confident in PvP with him. So we're going to go for that type of thing again, see if we can find somebody to fight out there. But there's also some quests to do around this area too. So it should be pretty fast, pretty good XP, but I think Tenaris is in my future. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and knock out a ZF run with the Aura of Experience. This is going to be a massive amount of XP because I also have three quests for it. So this should be pretty fantastic. I'm anticipating we'll get at least five levels off this, so we'll see. This is so fun, guys. I'm healing and doing DPS at the same time, both rather effectively, and it just feels so natural as opposed to being forced into a role it's a weird feeling and i like i'm not saying roles shouldn't exist necessarily but uh it's definitely nice when you can fill two roles at the same time and you don't feel like you're giving anything up and that's how this spec really does feel it's like the entire point of this spec actually <laughs> and a brand new ability what readiness okay so <laughs> Readiness is a interesting one. It reduces the cooldown on all of my hunter abilities, which actually does do something right now because we have the wyvern sting. So as soon as we get a ranged weapon, we can start using that, but we'll be able to get two wyvern stings off in a row, which again, at first I was going to be unexcited about this ability, but now I actually think it's very, very good. Okay, we somehow survived that. Imagine if I had the wyvern sting right now, this would be over. Okay, we did survive that, but that was a bit of a mess, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, level 49, which means we now have three points and holy guidance. This is the bread and butter of a spec like mine. It increases my healing spell power and my holy spell power by 9% of my total intellect. This means going into intellect increasing talents is gonna be even better for me now. And that's quite a lot of double dipping right there for those talents. 
Okay, I didn't think I was gonna win this, so I wasn't even recording, but Nightblade dropped, we all rolled for it, and I won against all five. Hopefully this will sell for something, it's bind on equip so I can sell it on the auction house. It would be really cool for an aspiring shadow hybrid. Oh, last stand again on a brand new character though this time, so that's pretty nice, and we're level 50 with that, which 20 more levels to go, I'll definitely take that. So I'll put that on Shift C, and that's a really, really good one, especially as somebody who can heal, uh, because I can use that and then heal to full and not really take the brunt of losing the health like some other DPS classes might. So it's more longevity, it's even more so. So I, I'm really happy with that. We're almost done with this dungeon as well, and then when we're done with this, I should get at least a few more levels, I would assume, by the end of it all. So that's exciting as well. All right, this quest should should be level 52 brand new ability let's see what we get come on oh god oh true shot aura all right we got to go get some scrolls of fortune i think we can get at least one more right now and we have to get rid of true shot aura because i do not need an aura that increases attack power as a holy caster um Unless I went hybrid, right? That, that is still a theoretical option. I was looking at the Rep Pally tree and I saw Sheet of Light, which increases your bonus spell healing by an amount equal to 25% of your melee attack power and your holy healing spells heal the target for 15% of the amount healed for 12 seconds. That's when I crit with that, which is pretty cool too. But then I would have to not be a caster, right? So like, do I want to do that? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, this should be 54. So I guess we don't get new abilities anymore at this point, uh, at least for a few levels. We save them, and then at level 60, I'll be able to choose a level 50 or 60 talent twice, I believe, which is pretty nice. I'm most definitely going to go with Penance, but there are some other interesting choices I'd like to look at, so we'll see when we get there. Okay, free loot. We have the Curse of Exhaustion up. There we go. Oh, she has Fireball. Smite. Healing. Wyvern staying OP, dude, look. Oh, God, that was way too easy. I feel bad. Um, but I'll take it. Decent loot for this level. It's just a bunch of stuff I'll vendor off. But, you know, if I make a couple gold off a kill, it's worth it for me right now. Let's look for more people. I'm going to get Cal of Scorpid Sting's head real quick. I think that's going to be level 55. But I'm also killing anybody I find along the way as long as I can get loot from them. Wyvern Sting is really OP. Hey, here's somebody. 44, damn it. Yeah, I'm a little high for this area, but I just feel like I'll still find more people I can fight here than on Goros, so that's why I'm here. It really is more about quantity in terms of I just want to get as many kills and as much XP and loot from them as I can because it's just more fun. I love fighting people in high risk PvP in Ascension. <laughs> it's so fun. Okay, there's stuff dead over here. Level 41, yeah. I'm gonna go with pirates. Caliph was dead too, I think. I didn't see him in his usual spot. Typically, high level 40s and low 50s will be seen at the pirates down here, so I really am hoping somebody's going to be here for me to fight. That last fight I had was just kind of not great because the guy got dominated, and it wasn't even about the level difference. Like, you could just tell there was no way I could lose with a double wyvern sting and I can heal myself to full. Like, unless the guy has a bunch of interrupts, uh, like I didn't have one for his fireball and that did feel bad, but unless you do... It's going to be really difficult to beat me. I can see melee mortal strike killing me, but how many of those am I going to find? That would have to be so unlucky. Maybe a feral druid. I'm so disturbed and perturbed <laughs> uh, by what I'm seeing in the chat now. Everybody is McDoubles. Um, this... <laughs> God. Okay. It's fun when I just randomly see people talk about me in world chat. <laughs> Okay, so we are now level 56, which means we can go two points into Infusion of Light. This is going to make it to where when I crit with my Holy Shock, it increases the critical strike chance of my next Holy Light by 20%, giving it an even higher percent chance to crit than it already has, which is already pretty good. Uh, our crit is currently sitting at about 15.82% specifically for holy spells. That's not too bad at all. And because we're level 56, we got two scrolls of fortune from using our chest of fortune, one scroll of fortune for level 40 and one for level 50. So it's time to reroll some stuff and we're going to start off with the marksman ability true shot aura because I just don't want the attack power buff for a talent point. Let's see what we get instead. Not looking at the chat. <gasps> yes! Power 
sword shield that is actually perfect and i wanted to start with this but you can't actually start with power word shield this is absolutely top tier and it actually adds a lot of versatility not only with talent points because we have quite a few more things to go in terms of uh talent points that we obtain there are a bunch that go with the power word shield copious power is a really good one after casting power word shield your next healing spell will be 10 percent more effective uh you can look at things like improve power word shield just to make power word shield absorb more but reflective shield says 40 percent of the damage you absorb with your shield goes back to the attacker right so there's a lot of fun stuff one of the talents makes it to where we you use divine or power word shield that you actually apply a speed boost to yourself that's pretty good so i'm gonna have to look at it all and see exactly what i want to do i do need to spend this talent essence so that i don't roll another talented ability um i mean if i'm honest i wouldn't mind getting divine illumination but i'm not entirely sure if that's rollable so what i'm going to do instead is just use it on reflective shield because i'm pretty confident i do want this for sure uh so 20 percent of the damage i absorb with my shield will be reflected back at the attacker for now and that's not bad at all okay let's go ahead and reroll serpent sting it's just not great for my build let's see what we get oh my god <laughs> Oh my god, the flame tongue weapon! That is literally bis for casters in terms of the buffs that you can get. It would be like rolling wind fury on my shadow hybrid. That is how freaking amazing this is. It does kind of encourage me to go with a dual wield type of spec so I can get more out of the 25 spell damage I currently get from it. But for now, hey, 25 extra spell damage, that is incredibly good, and I'm really happy to have it. Now I just need to find something else to re-roll. Okay, it's definitely going to be the Starfire right here, so let's go ahead and get rid of Starfire. Let's see what we get. Oh, I thought it was going to be Divine Protection! Shadow Word Pain, though. This is not amazing, but it is a dot, which is not too horrible, right? Because at the same time, you know, having a dot... Well, no, overall it's not great because it breaks my Wyvern Sting, doesn't it? Any damage will cancel the effect of Wyvern Sting, other than the Wyvern Sting's damage itself, I believe. Obviously, because that wouldn't make any sense. I'm, as a result, just going to get rid of the Shadow Word Pain. It's just not ever usable for me as a result, so let's just go for this see what we get last scroll of fortune oh my god bark skin it could have been stone claw totem it could have been stone claw bark skin is so great 15 percent damage reduction when i use it uh very short cooldown and while i'm protected by bark skin damaging attacks will not cause spell casting delays this allows me to get off my smites without any pushback which is very very op this is amazing I actually got some good rolls for once, some very good rolls for once, and I think this could be the start of something brand new in terms of power level. Now what I need to do is get to 60 and pick the penance. Um, God, I cannot believe I got Power Word Shield from that, guys. We have Nature's Grasp, Power Word Shield. We have double Wyvern Sting with the Intimidating Shout. All we need now really is Holy Fire to become as OP as humanly possible. Flame Tongue Totem is actually good now because we double down with the Flame Tongue Weapon for some pretty massive spell power gains. I mean, an extra 40 from this? It says 23, but it, oh, 40 total with, with both Flame Tongue spells, so that's amazing. Right now, because it's actually Halloween and I have the potion, the Aura Potion, I can actually just go to each inn and get the Halloween Candy Quest uh, from each of these different cities, and it actually gives me a massive amount of XP, so that's what I'm currently doing right now to level up pretty fast. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about right here. You go to any inn, you go to the candy bucket, you accept the quest after using your other handful of candy or else you can't actually do it. You end up getting a mask that looks exactly the same way as you already look. <laughs> And then you complete the quest about it being that's 95k XP with this potion. Uh, that's pretty sick. So I'm going to keep flying around until I get more and more of those. And we might actually make it to 60 with that if you can believe it. You know, I think just to break up the monotony, I'm going to make my way down to Angoro uh, and just see how many I can get along the way. So to Thunder Bluff we go. So I randomly decided to reroll Chain Lightning. I thought between Searing Pain and Chain Lightning, there might be some applicability here later on because I can actually use a random enchant to move while casting Searing Pain, I'm pretty sure, as well as Scorch, but I have the Searing Pain. But as a result, when I rerolled it, I got Arcane Power. This is one of the best 
damage cooldowns I could have gotten because it just straight up increases the damage of my spells by 15%. And yes, it does increase the amount of mana they cost, but I have life tap. So I'm feeling really positive about this, and I think that's one of the best things I could have gotten. I'm happy I forgot I had a talent essence left over and that I got that as a result. So I'm level 59 and I was looking at more talents to go for for the future. I looked at Divine Ages and I thought to myself, if this works with not just Holy Priest spells, but Holy Paladin spells as well, this would be very good for my build that focuses on getting crits with Holy Light and Holy Shock. This says my holy healing criticals create a protective shield on my target for 10 seconds, absorbing 20% of the amount healed, which is quite a lot. It would go well with the power word shield and with my build, I just had to find out if it worked with things like holy light and holy shock, and it does apparently, so we're going to try it as soon as we can, and uh, I'm pretty excited to see if it ends up paying off. But that fun is going to have to happen next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and to subscribe. Next video is going to be all Outland, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. McDoubles out.